I'm nervous for the same reason that she pointed out, you know, there's no war guidelines, you know, we kind of have figured it out by ourselves, but I'm very excited because I know, like, the next chapter of our lives are going to be so many things that we've been anticipating, waiting for, and getting ready for for so long now, and I'm just, I'm really excited to see, like, everything else that's getting ready to happen for us. So with com with graduation from high school comes college, right? Yes. Yeah. What college did you all select? Um, I'm going to Virginia Wesleyan College, right here in Hampton Roads. Great. And I'll be at Towson University in Maryland. Okay, what's your major going to be? I'm going to go in undecided, but I think I'm going to lean towards English with my concentration on literature. Okay. And I'm going in, I'm starting um, business administration and management, and then in my sophomore year, I'll be able to transfer to dance with a K-12 concentration. Really? Yes. That's great. Did you all receive any scholarships? Uh, yeah, I actually got a full um, tuition scholarship to Virginia Wesleyan. Oh, well, that's exciting for you. Yeah. And that's not the only honor that you got recently. Virginia Pilot uh, surprised you with something. Yeah, I was a finalist for their um, Virginia Pilot scholarship, and so I got to go and interview, and they gave me a lot of great gifts for being a part of that program. So it was really, it was really nice. So how many students were you competing against? I I believe it was seven or eight other students from the area, but um, maybe about six. So what did it take to become the valedictorian and the salutatorian? <laughs> <laughs> um, a lot of studying, but also um, more than anything, just um, the want to do well and the want to excel academically. Um, I love education. I love learning. Any bit of information you give me, I'll take it and I'll hold it forever just because I think it might be important someday. Um, and so I think what's really brought me to this point is my love for just education, just knowing that like I want to do well. I want to learn as much as possible while I'm here. How about you, Jessica? I think um, definitely the determination. Like You definitely have to be determined because there are so many different that just a lot of distractions. Yeah, distractions. There you go. There. <laughs> just a lot of distractions, especially in high school. You know, that's the time where you find yourself and you find your friends. So you definitely have to be determined and you have to be focused. And that'll get you to a better place. <laughs> if you had one word to describe yourselves academically, what would that be? Mm -hmm. That's hard. <laughs> that is or hard. just in general. How long have you guys been with Norfolk Schools? My whole life. Your whole life? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where'd you start? Um, well, I went to preschool at the Norfolk Te Technical Center, um, and then I went to elementary school at Willard Elementary. Yeah, I've been here all my life as well. I started out at Green Hill Farms Christian Academy, mm -hmm. and then I went to Poplar Halls, and then the Academy at Meadowbrook, and then now I'm at Booker T. And we actually met at Meadowbrook <laughs> yeah, in did. seventh grade. Really? Yep. Mm -hmm. So you've known each other all this time. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. For a while. Yeah. <laughs> so how do you feel Norfolk Public Schools has prepared you academically? Um, it's definitely given me like um, a very well-rounded view of the world, I guess you could say. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I know yeah. Norfolk is, you know, only but so big and there's so much more world out there, but I feel like our city is so diverse and yeah, I've come in contact with so many different students and teachers and faculty administration. They've been from everywhere and have gone through all different kinds of life experiences. So I think being a part of Norfolk Public Schools has really helped me shape my view of, like, I guess just diversity around the world and being like open to anything or anybody. Mm -hmm. Especially with the um, the different programs in the schools, like with Meadowbrook before it went to Rosemont, even still having the academy there, you get to intermingle with people of different races, different cultures, people who come in, like she said, from everywhere, and not just the students, as well as the teachers and administrators, and just everybody. And being in Norfolk, it's just diverse anyway yeah. so you never know who you're going to come across and so having all of that in the North public schools it's a really good opportunity and it's a really good chance to get to know different people and it shapes you better for what to expect when you go out in the real world yeah. so what type of student do you think you were at poverty um, definitely determined 
very, um, very determined, you know, I think we definitely took um, the road less traveled, if I can quote Robert Frost, um, just because it, it is so easy, like she said, to get caught up in the distractions, and we, you know, we had no part in that. We were, you know, like, from the very beginning, we were determined what we were going to do. We were, we were both determined to achieve excellence, and so I think I would definitely say determined students. We're, we're both that way. And along with determined focus, like, like I said before, like focusing is everything. You have to focus and you have to keep pushing on even when it seems like your friends or people that you, you know, other people that you depended on may not be there at the moment. You have to tell yourself that I have to do this for me and you have to focus for yourself. What classes do you think were the most challenging this year for you? This year specifically? I would say AP Psychology. Um, which was also my favorite class. It was the most challenging, but it was my favorite um, because there's so much information all at once and there's so many like fine details that you have to remember and it really is just memorization and vocabulary, studying, and really knowing how they all intermingle with one another. It was a very challenging course. My class was probably with AP government. I've never been, I've never excelled in history. I don't know why, because it's mainly just remembering but it's, AP government has definitely been my most challenging, but it's been insightful because you really like start to, I've noticed I've started paying attention to like when I watch um, Law and Order, Criminal Minds and those types of things. And especially like with politics and the news now, I've noticed myself getting more into it and I was like, oh, hey, we learned that in class or yeah. I know what they're talking about that. So yeah, it's been my most challenging, but very insightful. I'm gonna ask every graduate this question. And what advice would you give a rising senior for their, them academically for the next school year? Um, what you do in the classroom really will shape who you become. Um, how much effort you put into expanding your like education and expanding your mind, it'll it'll shape where you go in life. Um, I wouldn't be where I am today without you know the determination to want to succeed. Um, or without, you know, every piece of knowledge that I have gained throughout the years. So really, I mean, I know high school is only one portion of your life, and there's so many other things that go into making you who you are, but it really does, you know, really shape, like, the habits that you'll form throughout the rest of your life and your behaviors going forward. So definitely don't slack off, be focused, you know, be respectful to your teachers. They're there to help you. Um, and just know that it, it's important. It's a very important part of your life. It's a very important part of making you who you want to be. Right. I would say don't give up and be willing to make mistakes and learn from your mistakes. Because I think in high school, that's when, you know, as teenagers, we think we know what we're doing. We don't want to hear from any other person, you know, and especially from adults and teachers. And these are people who have been down the road before. And I think that we oftentimes block out the information, but it's better to listen to what they're saying because they're there to help you. And you don't want to give up because your senior year is very stressful. I mean, high school itself can be stressful, but your senior year is very stressful. You're getting ready to go off to college, or even if you don't go to college, you know, you're getting ready to make that next step. And so it's going to be times where you just like, I don't want to do this anymore. I just... I give up. But you definitely don't want to give up because, like Stacey said, high school is a very important part of your life and it really does shape you. And so by giving up, you, you're missing out. You're going to miss out on your future and you want to have a better future. So I would definitely say just keep going. And great like, advice, listen. Liz. Great, great advice for your classmates to, to live by. And congratulations on your valedictorian and salutatorian awards. Thank, thank you. you. It's great to have you on the show. Thank, thank you. you. And we want to thank you for watching NPS Now. It airs weekly on WNPS, Channel 47, 